So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to integrate Arduino with MATLAB. There's a couple ways to do this. I'm just going to give you the file that has the library in it to give to the MATLAB folder and some of the Arduino sketches that goes in Arduino before you can get MATLAB and Arduino talking. This is the file that I'm going to be posting in the description box below this video. Inside of it, you'll see that there's a PDE file. You need to cut that PDE file and go to your Arduino folder. In your Arduino folder, you'll see something that says libraries. Click it and add that to the folder. So now you see that I added PDE. So when you upload MATLAB, you need to tell MATLAB to have access to that folder. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this into my MATLAB folder. You can leave it on your desktop if you want. I just usually, for everything that I use with MATLAB, I put it in a specific area. So now that I have it in the area that I want it to have it in, I would go to File, Set Path, Add with Subfolders, and you find wherever that file is. So if you had it on your desktop, you would download it from your desktop. So this is where I had it stored under MATLAB. In Arduino Input Output, you would add this, and it adds all of the folders within the Arduino Input and Output. You save it and you close. So you have to have your Arduino in the computer right now. If you go to open PDE, this is the library that you just added. Go to ADIOSRV and upload that sketch. The first thing that I need to do is initialize a variable to store the whole library in. And you need to call the variable Arduino and what COM port you're on. In this case, I'm on COM7. So it's going to try to make a connection with the Arduino. So up here is all of my pins. I only have an Arduino Uno, so I can only use so many of these. I think the rest of these pins are to be used with a uh, Arduino Mega, I think. I'm not, I'm not too sure on that. But uh, I only can use these 13 up here. So as you noticed, these were unassigned. So in order to assign them, I'd have to call the library, which I named A first, and then just use my normal syntax, what I use for Arduino. Pin mode. Um, I'm, I'm going to be on pin 13. I want to use that built-in LED. And in MATLAB, when you talk in characters, you have to use the tick marks. So you just can't say output. It would be written like this. So now when I call A and you look at pin 13, you'll notice that it was set as an output. So now I would just call digital write pin 13. And instead of saying hi, written, you might think it's written like this. But MATLAB doesn't understand that. But another thing of just saying hi is one. Because hi and one, they're the same thing in, in computer language. So if I type this into the screen, you can see that the light goes on. And likewise, if I type that into the screen, it goes off.